We're pleased to announce today that starting in 2016, and for the very first time ever, there will be a global MX-5 Cup Series. This will also be the very first time that Mazda will be directly involved in the development, the production, and the distribution of the race cars themselves. With the MX-5 Global Cup car, we really want to reinforce the message that the MX-5 is a global racing platform. We understood that with this generation of car, if we really wanted to energize and broaden the customer base of the car, we needed to take a big step. We want to highlight the fact that this car is not only a sports car, but it, it makes a great race car. So Motorsports has really driven the project, and design has come along for the ride to help uh, facilitate showing off this new MX-5 production car in a race format. To me, the next generation car, first and foremost, continues the story of the MX-5. There's a very clear lineage coming from the very first car in 89, which we call NA, through the second gen NB, and third gen NC, and then of course where we're at today with the all new car. This car kind of harkens back a little bit to the first gen and the fact that we try to make it more lightweight than the third gen car, kind of getting back to that essence of what the first MX-5 was all about, being lightweight, fun to drive, and more of a, a sports car that, that any person can afford. The first car was conceived out of this very purposeful, minimal driving experience, right? And so naturally, that's going to be a perfect fit with the transition from the road to the track. What makes it a great race car is it's very simple, it's very balanced, and it's very lightweight. For us, it's an opportunity to take it to a little more extreme level. We bring in our aero kit on the car, so this has the effect of uh, improved ground effects and improved downforce. So immediately, from a design standpoint, it makes the car look more aggressive and more capable. This is why race cars tend to look amazing, because uh, you're doing all the things to the car that normally you have to limit on a, on a street car. On the production MX-5, we're looking to see how much we can put into it, how much design we can put into it, how much function we can put in there. Whereas on a race vehicle, you're looking to see how much you can take off that thing and how lightweight you can get it so you can get the performance out of it. In terms of the color and material palette on the car, obviously the foundation is the, our Soul Red. Soul Red is our brand color that we've worked really hard for almost five years to bring this color to fruition. The graphics kind of came from looking at the forms of the car and really kind of accentuating the forms that we really are proud of. When the car is standing still, you want it to look fast. The industry as a whole, especially the automotive media, is so focused on a car like this, so you don't want to disappoint people, but at the same time, you, you do want to make your mark and, and push the car forward. I grew up around a lot of cars, a lot specifically a lot of import cars, German, Japanese, and so there's already a natural tendency to kind of look towards that for inspiration. I love being in the city. I love seeing how people interact with vehicles in a city, in the country, different, different countries, places in the world. When I see really great design, whether it came from another car company or another fashion or product, it pushes me to work harder and come up with my own thing. Yeah, I'm really inspired, obviously, by racing, and that kind of what drives me, it kind of keeps me going. But ultimately, I think what I see on race cars, what I see on the racetrack is probably what inspires me the most. You can't do a job like this without really being excited about cars. You have to love cars. People that I get to work with each day are very passionate about what they do, and that fuels me to raise my game and work harder and do more. Every time we start SEMA, we know the deadlines are always tight. But at the end of the day, you turn out something that's really cool. And even though it's a lot of late hours and a lot of extra work, it's all worth it at the end when you see the finished product sitting on the show stage at SEMA. It's important as a designer to try to seek the type of company that you feel like you have a fit with. Mazda is a company that has so much kind of depth and soul to it in, in that it really lives its promise. Promise being that we build great cars that are fun to drive and we stand behind that.